Hey everyone, this time we are going to check the fresh release from Special Hobby. As you can see, it's a 3D printed accessory set for L4 Grasshopper. And this time it copies engine in 148 scale. This should be quite an interesting update for your model. So uh, now we have a chance to check the commercial sample of this kit. And obviously you will get exactly the same stuff if you order it from official Special Hobby website. So here you can see that the packaging is typical for this brand we have the transparent frontal section and all parts are actually enveloped with this foam and by the way you can see them but obviously we will open it in order to check them closer here on the rear side you can see also the safety advices QR code for the kit info page I guess or maybe for the website and address of the manufacturer everything is enclosed with a staple so it should be quite easy to do now with help of the staple remover or debonder whatever you prefer so just give me a second i'll do it right now and we will take a closer look at all these parts so 3d printing technology is recently the hit let's say in uh, among model makers and i guess special hobby is not an exclusion from this rule because they are doing a lot of interesting things lately and for example this engine is a perfect I would say show of what you can achieve with the 3D printing technology. So it comes as a single piece part. And yes, you don't have to assemble anything here. And maybe you have to add wiring. We'll have to check the assembly manual. But the engine block, and I think even together with the exhaust, it is assembled as a single piece part. So you just need to remove this support. This is really impressive quality in my opinion, and it will definitely influence the appearance of the engine and also the ease of the assembly and what is even more impressive is that a lot of features are actually different from what we have in the original plastic kit so that's why it's a welcome upgrade in my opinion but there are also separate cooling panels provided here and they are also already divided as they should open on the real aircraft so if camera will focus now you should be able to see what i'm talking about so again it's just a matter of separating these parts uh, painting them of course applying the primer because these are more of uh, resin parts but that's pretty much all and it will be ready to be installed on your aircraft or to put uh, beside the aircraft on some the stand, special stand, where you will be displaying your model. And now in order to understand what we have to do with this model, so I think we should zoom out a bit, close the lenses, and of course check the assembly manual. So it comes in a form of small brochure, here we have also the parts map, and let's open it. So exactly as I said, we will have to copy the wiring, so wiring has to be copied well, thickness is not written here, which is rather surprising, but I would guess it's 0.3, maybe even thinner. So as you can see, there are a lot of um, ignition lines to be copied. And yeah, it's written that this parts, this large cooling halves, you can just put beside the model, as you can see, it's written here. What you have to do with the original kit is actually to cut off the cooling sections because they are pre-molded with the fuselage house so you will not be able to avoid doing this procedure and that's why you should be ready for such thing. Nevertheless here you can see that then it's just a matter of direct installation onto the fuselage because actually the engine is molded together with the firewall and also here you can see that it is combined with the original plastic part from the original kit. Here on the rear side you will find some safety information, also the website of the manufacturer and of course these landing gear wheels, which are also quite nice upgrade. We reviewed them as well so you can find it on our YouTube channel. And as for today's kit, it should be already available and you can get it on official special hobby website or CMK website. In my opinion it's a good thing to get if you would like to get a detailed um, hopper or L4 grass hopper in 148 scale. Of course, I will be happy to hear your opinion about this release. Do not forget to write it here in the comment section below. If you like this video, press the like button, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and I will see you in the next video review as usual. Thank you for joining me today, and bye.